Long drive home back to Watkins Glen. All right, moving on. What? Uh, oh, this is our raspberry wheat. Uh, we put a poll on Facebook a couple months ago asking people what they wanted us to brew, and raspberry wheat won. So, here it is. All right. So right off the bat, I can definitely tell you do not like IPAs because any other raspberry or blueberry or any other fruit, ale, or uh, pilsner I've had anywhere else, so hoppy, bitter, um, just I almost want to scrape my tongue after I drink them. This is none of that. I get the raspberry, I can smell the raspberry, I taste the raspberry, and it starts off like my palate is wet and then it goes to dry real quick like I almost drank a sour um, and I like that well I have to say that I do enjoy IPAs but that would have to be maybe recipe formulation or water chemistry that's making it bitter more bitter than it should be because it, it shouldn't be a beer like this shouldn't be bitter at all no 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 and it's not this is wow <laughs> There's no thumbs down within this video, folks. Everything is just thumbs up all the way around. And if you thought that first one tastes like coffee, I'm sure this one will definitely taste like coffee. <laughs> and what, what is this one we're getting ready to uh, embark? It's a coffee bock, aka Java the Bock. <laughs> Years ago, we did, we did a coffee bock and we asked people online about a name, and Java the Bock was uh, one of the choices. So. Java the Bach, I love that. We use, there's a local roastery in town, uh, Conspiracy Coffee, and we use our, excuse me, coffee in there, and that's beer. Local again, folks, keeping it local. Whoa. My wife would love that. That is so enriched with coffee. That is cold brew yeah yeah straight up cold brew yeah that is, what's the content on this uh, i think it's like seven and a half if not eight percent okay a bach is usually a stronger than lager right right and technically this one would be a dunkel bach because it's black or brown very dark it's like a nice dark slow roast i love that love that Wow, the coffee is just so, it's just right there, right there. Yeah. And I'll be honest, if if I were to have that in a glass of of ice and maybe a hint of cream, I would never think that to be beer. That's... Until you start feeling happier. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Drink that in my mug at work and then all of a sudden, you know, all my customers disappear and I'm having a good day. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to embark on the best one you said, and uh... Uh, yeah, probably the most interesting. This is an idea I had for a couple of years, and I just finally got around to doing it. Uh, I've seen sweet potato porters, but uh, with this one I smoked. We have a smoker here at the pub, so I smoked. That was like 40 pounds of sweet potatoes, and I tossed that in the mash. I did a potato stout years ago. Uh, potato don't really come through. It has fermented bowls in it, but it's not really too interesting. So the smoking and making it sweet potatoes just kind of adds the layers to it, I guess you could say. So, what's the name of this one? Uh, you know, I thought about naming it the Sweet Potato Chip Incident. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever heard of String Cheese Incident Band. No. Uh, what's well, a? It's a hippie band. It's called the String Cheese Incident. That's their name. Huh. And uh, we had a situation in the kitchen where we were like, well, we're, what are we going to do for a special tonight? And they're like, oh, we'll do sweet potato fries. And we're like, okay. We got our first order, and I put them down, and they brought them up, and they were like black, just overcooked. Hmm. And 
we're like, well, we can't serve those. So we tried it again, we pulled them up at the right color, but they were soggy. Yeah, and so they're, they're weird to do. there's huh. a lot of sugars in it, so the sugars will burn, right. darkening it. Uh, so we couldn't serve them. But we were like, for 20 minutes, we were trying to figure out this out. <laughs> and so I caught the sweet potato chip incident. So like the next time you come up with a special, you should try it ahead of time. <laughs> we had to tell the customer, it's like, we can't do this. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's funny. I can definitely smell the, the smokeness of it. it. Smells just like a smoker you would have in your backyard. I get that smokiness, like a nice, nice wood burning over the smoke. And I always think of smoked salmon. When I have like really smoky beers, I always crave smoked salmon. I I don't I, I don't know how you're doing this. I, I don't know how you have so much flavor in everything on the table everything on this table right now guys is just full of just pure flavor and it like he said earlier the the roller coaster of flavors is just it's it's not dipping it, it's not plateauing it, it's constantly going up you you go down on the track and then boom you're right back up again it it's somewhat mind-boggling to me how so many craft brewers can do something so well and then they'll have something that's just just bland just right across the board but for you everything i've had tonight is just enriched with flavor there's nothing bland like you don't have that you, you don't have that natural coors light beer on the table you know what i mean like that's why we have guest tabs too yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to get that customer, you know, Yingling Lager. So, you know, they can make a lager way better than I can. So why not have have that on tap? Right. And unfortunately, you know, I mean, a lot of people, you, you've got to cater to certain people and that's what they want. You know, there, there might be that older guy that comes in, wants just what he knows, what he's always had, and that's that one thing. But for anybody that wants to be adventurous, wants to try something new, wants to enjoy an enriched flavor, this is it. This is it. Jared, knock it out of the park, guys. I, I can't stress that enough. This is, this has been an experience that I am very, very glad I had. I'm glad you guys came. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I came. I, I honestly, I didn't know you guys were here. I didn't know anything about you until Sam, Sam mentioned it. Yeah, wow. almost nine years now. Yeah. February will be our nine year anniversary. Wow. February, guys, nine year anniversary party down here. <laughs> this is, you're knocking it out of the park, man. Knocking it out of the park. You know, I almost want to say I hope you get to the point you, distri you, you have a distribution, but I almost hope you don't because I, I see a lot of people. Uh, their breweries get to the point they get too big and they start distributing beer and then that's when they just they just plateau and it just gets everything just kind of blends together and it's it's not it going to a lot of control as soon as you start distributing i mean you don't know what they're doing with their tap lines like the co2 that they're pushing the beer with uh you know early on we distributed a little bit locally and uh my one friend at the time and i went to a place that had our beer on tap and they didn't know that we had made it and we went in and we we're like so what do we have here and they're just like i don't know fruit beer you want it and it's like you know you took all that time and energy to make that you want to have it presented properly and uh, as soon as you start distributing you lose all that control right yeah and that's why we do what we do guys we, we want you to come come to these places, see what they have, experience the ambiance. Um, am I pronouncing that right? I don't think I am. I, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly. I just, we want you to experience what they have to offer you. It's, it's more than just a beer. 
it, it's more, more than an experience. You're almost getting a, a part of your life. Like I can tell when you come into work, when you're over there at the tanks and you're working, your mind's constantly working. This is your heart, you know, I mean, it, most of your heart is with your family and this is definitely part of your family right here on the table. That's a good description. Right? Yeah, yeah, balls on, man. Everyone, I'm DJ. I'm Sam. This is Jared, and this has been one hell of an experience, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're Weird Beers, cheers. We want you guys to come down here and experience his sours. <laughs> You'll never hear me say that again. Drink on, guys. Cheers.